It's late at night, and Abigail is practicing ballet in a big empty theater. Meanwhile, a group of criminals is getting ready for a kidnapping. The hacker turns off all the security cameras at Abigail's house, and the sniper takes his position on the roof. Abigail leaves the theater, and her driver picks her up. They don't know that the criminals have put a tracker on the car. The kidnappers follow Abigail's car. They open the doors to her house and sneak into her bedroom, hiding behind the furniture. Abigail gets home and goes to bed. The criminals attack. Abigail fights back, but they manage to give her a shot that makes her fall asleep. The criminals put Abigail in a bag and sneak out a window. The alarms go off, and they have to run. Their getaway car picks them up just in time, and they escape. They arrive at an old, abandoned mansion outside the city. There, they meet Lambert, the guy who hired them. They handcuff Abigail to a bed. Lambert reminds everyone of the rules. No sharing names or personal stories, and no funny business. They're watching Abigail for 24 hours until her rich dad pays the ransom. The team starts partying. Joey refuses to share her candy with Dean, who's trying to guess everyone's secrets. Joey ends up guessing everyone's past correctly. Frank was a detective. Peter is a dumb muscle guy. Sammy the hacker is rich and doing this for kicks. Rickles is a former Marine sniper. Dean is a messed up driver. In response, Frank figures out that Joey is a recovering addict. Joey checks on Abigail and takes off her blindfold. Abigail is crying. Joey promises they won't hurt her, they just want the money. Abigail tells Joey they made a mistake kidnapping her because her dad doesn't care about her. As Joey is leaving, Abigail says she's sorry for what's going to happen to Joey. Joey tells Frank that Abigail's dad might be a violent man. Frank thinks Abigail is just trying to make Joey feel bad. Later, Frank checks on Abigail. Then he makes her tell him her dad's name, Christophe Lazar. Frank freaks out and runs back to the group. He tells them Abigail is the daughter of Christophe Lazar, a powerful and dangerous crime boss. The group argues about what to do. In the end, they decide to stay and get the money. They figure they can use it to escape and start new lives somewhere far away. Dean is exploring the creepy old house and finds a hallway full of pictures. One picture shows a girl who looks just like Abigail. He then goes to the basement kitchen, where a door swings open on its own. He goes in and a rat scares him. As he tries to leave, something invisible grabs his legs and pulls him back. Sammy hears him scream and runs to the basement, where she finds Dean just sitting at the table. When she tries to get closer to him, his head suddenly flops down and Sammy screams and throws up. The others rush to the basement, and they all agree that Sammy couldn't have done that to Dean. It reminds them of stories about a hitman named Valdez who worked for Lazar. Years ago, three important members of Lazar's gang were caught by the FBI. The night before their trial, they were kept in a hotel room with guards everywhere. The next morning, the FBI found their bodies, they had been beheaded and their organs were missing. There was no way in or out of the room except for the door. Everyone is worried, so they check on Abigail and she's fine. Rickles is still scared of Valdez and wants to leave, but when he opens the front door, there's another locked gate blocking them in. Peter tries to force it open, but it triggers an alarm and all the windows are covered up. Now they're trapped. Rickles checks for his gun, but it's gone. Joey runs to Abigail and asks if she's seen anyone else besides her and Frank. Abigail swears she hasn't. She also says that Frank threatened her, claimed he worked for her dad, and that his real name was Valdez. Joey and Rickles talk and realize none of this makes sense. They decide to look for a way out, but Joey hears a noise. Rickles is standing strangely, so she checks on him and finds that he's been badly hurt. His dead body falls into her arms, and she puts him down before running downstairs. Joey is furious and points her gun at Frank, saying he's Valdez and that he killed Rickles. Frank pulls out his own gun and says Joey is being tricked by Abigail. He tells Peter to do something about Abigail, so Peter goes to her room to kill her. Before he can shoot, Joey arrives and takes his gun away. Sammy and Frank show up and everyone starts arguing. Abigail easily slips out of her handcuffs and stands up. She does a ballet move and her true nature is revealed. She's a vampire. Abigail jumps on Peter and is about to bite him, but Frank shoots her. To everyone's surprise, Abigail just sits up and the wound heals itself. Joey shoots her too, but it's clear that bullets don't hurt her, so they run and lock the door. The group talks about what to do now that they know Abigail is Valdez. All the doors have strong magnetic locks and thick shutters, so they can't be broken and Sammy doesn't have the tools to unlock them. Everyone is tense and when Peter asks them to calm down, Frank grabs him by the throat and threatens him. Frank and Peter grab pool sticks to make steaks while Sammy looks for garlic in the kitchen. Joey doesn't help because she thinks killing Abigail will just make her dad angry. Once they're ready, 
The three of them rush into Abigail's room, but it's empty. They hear music and go into another room, where they find Abigail dancing with Dean's body. At first, she pretends to be innocent, but when Sammy attacks, Abigail jumps on her and sniffs the garlic, which has no effect. Frank tries to help, but is pushed away. Peter manages to pick Abigail up, but she easily throws him to the ground and takes the cross from his necklace. She hits his chest with it, making him bleed, and this proves that crosses don't affect her either. Frank tries to stab her from behind, but Abigail quickly takes his weapon and stabs him in the leg. The three of them give up and go back downstairs, where Joey helps them with their wounds. She reminds them that the injection worked when they kidnapped Abigail, and they still have one more. They decide to split up and whoever finds Abigail first will tell Joey through their earpieces so she can surprise her with the syringe. The group starts searching the house and Sammy goes down a dirty hallway, where she's startled by a bunch of bats. This causes her to fall into a pool, and she screams when she realizes it's full of rotting bodies. To make things worse, she has to crawl over them to get out. Abigail scares Peter, and he runs away like a scared cat, locking the door behind him. But Abigail's not giving up. She breaks the door and chases him, moving like a ballerina. Peter's running as fast as he can when Frank suddenly opens a door and bumps into him, making him fall. Now Abigail goes after Frank, pushing him down the stairs and then sitting on him. Joey tries to use this chance to give Abigail an injection, but Abigail slaps her hand, sending the syringe flying. Sammy grabs Abigail and pulls her away, but Abigail bites her arm. Then Abigail grabs Frank's leg and starts to fly. Peter tackles her, and she drops Frank. Peter holds Abigail down while Joey gets the syringe and injects Abigail with a sedative. Abigail says some mean things before passing out. Sammy's worried that she'll turn into something because of the bite. Later, Abigail wakes up trapped in an elevator. Joey says they'll let her go if she tells them how to get out. But Abigail reveals she planned everything and Lambert works for her. She even knows their real names and secrets. Sammy stole from her rich parents and then went after a big target. Peter worked for a crime family and stole from them. Frank was a detective who went undercover with a crime family and liked the bad guy life. Joey was an army medic who got fired for using drugs and left her son with his dad to become an illegal doctor. She once accidentally killed a gang member. Everyone here did something bad to Laser or his gang, and Joey says Abigail kills her dad's enemies to make him love her. Abigail didn't kill them right away because she likes to play with her victims. She says if they let her out, she'll let two of them live. Frank wants to kill her. So Abigail changes the deal to only saving the one who gets her out. Peter pulls out his gun, and so does Joey. They say Abigail's lying. Peter tries to free her anyway, so Joey shoots him. The group leaves, except for Frank, who stays to guard Abigail. Frank says he'll let Abigail go if she tells him how to get out of the house. Abigail says he needs to pull a specific book in the library to open a secret door. Frank thanks her but doesn't let her go. So Abigail breaks the door and goes after him. Joey comes back and breaks somewhat off a window, letting sunlight in. The light burns Abigail's hand, and she runs away. The group goes to the library and stays in the sunlight. Nothing happens to Sammy, so she's relieved. Frank pulls the book Abigail mentioned, but nothing happens, she lied. Joey tries to break the wall but can't. She's out of candy and getting anxious. Joey tells Sammy she left her son to get clean and wanted to use the money from this job to go back to him. The word reset gives Sammy an idea. If they can find the power source, she can unlock the doors. They split up to search the house. Abigail plays music and takes control of Sammy because of the bite. Sammy turns into a vampire and attacks Peter, biting his neck. Abigail talks through Sammy while she feeds on Peter and kills him. Then Abigail makes Sammy dance. Joey and Frank come back and Sammy hides her face. They're suspicious, so Sammy shows them she's a vampire and they run away. Sammy chases them to the library. Abigail, using Sammy's voice, says she hates that room because that's where her dad turned her. Joey uses a tray to reflect sunlight, making Sammy's body explode. A secret door opens. Joey and Frank think it's a trap but go through it anyway. They find the mansion's control room and Lambert, another vampire. Lambert reveals Abigail turned him into a vampire and forced him to lure her father's enemies to the mansion. He's told Lazar, Abigail's father, about the situation. Lambert offers to turn Frank into a vampire if he helps kill Abigail and her father. Frank agrees, and Lambert bites him. Frank transforms into a vampire and then kills Lambert with a stake. Abigail arrives and tries to attack, but Frank overpowers her. Joey deactivates the security and calls her son, leaving a voicemail. Frank attacks Joey, but Abigail saves her. Abigail explains she's too weak to fight Frank alone 
and asks Joey to help her. They fight Frank together, but he's too strong. He stabs Joey and continues fighting Abigail. Abigail reminds Joey of their promise as Frank bites her. Frank then bites Joey. When Joey wakes up, Frank uses his powers to force her to attack Abigail. Joey pretends to comply but turns and attacks Frank instead. Abigail joins in, and they kill Frank together. Joey worries she might turn into a vampire, but Abigail assures her she won't since Frank is dead. Abigail lets Joey go. Suddenly, Lazar appears. He wants to kill Joey, but Abigail defends her, saying Joey saved her life. Lazar thanks Joey and lets her go. Joey rushes back to her van and finds a lollipop. She eats it as she drives away.